Thomas and Percy are good friends. What the fuck are you talking about? Percy wanted to talk. Wake up, Thomas. Are you dreaming about the time you thought I was a ghost? Certainly not. Hmm, I can't resist. <laughs> Next day, Sir Topham Hatt came to see him. I would like you to go to the harbor tonight. You have to collect something rather unusual. Hold on, Mom, I'm playing ball. I'm gonna play with your balls if you don't wash them dishes, replied Sir Topham Hatt. Henry arrived with his goods train. The signalman changed the switches and Percy waited on the siding until Henry had steamed by. Then there was trouble. The switches are jammed, called the signalman. I can't switch them back for Percy. The workman will... I'm sorry, Percy, but you'll have to stay here for the night. Where are you going? asked Percy. Bro, why isn't he running? Get Peter Griffin! Home for tea, replied. Oh dear, he murmured. It's very dark. <laughs> Percy what? woke up. What you You'll never guess what I saw last night. Penis. But sometimes my penis gets hard. Gordon snorted. When the other engines heard the news, they laughed too. But Percy soon found out that he hadn't. Hello, 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 hello. By the way, how was your night out? Percy decided to tell Thomas the truth. My penis gets hot. Early one morning, Trevor was chuffing about the vicarage orchard. He had important news for Edward. Children. I'd like to help too, sighed Edward, but without my rails, I wouldn't be much good at a garden party. Up your ass. It was a beautiful day, but Edward was worried. Why are you always gotta be so mean to me? Next day, it was Trevor's turn to look disappointed. He had bad news. The vicar's been so busy that he forgot to put up the posters. Now no one will know about the party. LOL! Well done, Edward, said his driver. I'm sure Sir Topham Hatt will agree. Stupid! I'm not gonna let you get the chance! I'll be there too, boasted Bertie. I'm not sure people will want to ride on an old traction engine after traveling in a smart red bus like me. <laughs> Trevor was soon busy trundling up and down the quiet country lane, carrying lots of laughing children. <laughs> Terence the Trapper arrived just in time. At last, Bertie was on the road again. Thank you, Trevor. You're not a stick in the mud at all. No, smiled Trevor, but you were. A special visitor had arrived and was now the center of attention. Who is that? Whispered Thomas to Duck. I don't know. Just then, Gordon arrived. Hi, my name's Yura. You're a fag. Gordon was still complaining. Good riddance, he grumbled, chattering all night. Who is he, anyway? Duck told you, replied Thomas. He's famous. What are you doing here? He's got no dome. Never trust domeless engines. Oh, that's why they call it that. I never boast, but I'd say a hundred miles an hour would be easy for me. Every word of what you just said was wrong. That famous engine came through this morning. He whistled to me. Wasn't he kind? He's the finest engine in the world, replied Duck. Then he told Edward what Gordon had said. It's just a meme, Dick. Sit down. Gordon was running very fast. His wheels pounded the rails. He did it. I'll do it. Gordon's train rocketed past and was gone. I'm not gay, are you? Oh, no, 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 no. Plus, look, there's a dick! Where? Ah! Gordon's driver eased him off. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. One November morning, Thomas whistled to all his friends. It's nearly Thanksgiving. No, 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 no. no. Wait, 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 wait. 
Driver says there's lots of mail for the village, said Thomas. I'll need an extra car for it all. You're getting weak. I won't be able to say Happy Thanksgiving to all my friends. Don't worry, said Percy kindly. I'll do it for you. It's not the same, sighed Thomas. <laughs> Percy was making good time on his way to the village when suddenly... What's that? called the driver. Suddenly, there was Thomas with Terence the tractor and a work train. Come on, Percy. Percy, I've just remembered. Your mail train is still back at the siding, isn't it? Percy hurried back to fetch it. Just then, Toby arrived with Henrietta. We've brought lots of... Oh, no, 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 no